cast away all of your fears into the great void. Angels, thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I have no one else to hang out with, so I really appreciate you stopping by. It's a Sunday, and all of my friends have prior engagements. None of my roommates are home, none of my five roommates, and so I'm just here alone. Ever since I was little, I have always just played alone been in my room alone. When I got my first laptop, it was one of my favorite things to scroll through Tumblr until like 3 a.m. doing DIYs, finding new music, and just vibing with myself, absorbing different kinds of art and creating it. So I just wanted to share with you what I do when I'm alone and how I entertain myself. I have really been wanting to do something different with my appearance. I feel like I never do anything with my hair or my makeup and when I see people pulling these looks, their hair and their makeup just really takes it over the edge and it just looks like a whole statement that they're making without even speaking. So the first thing I wanna do today is go through Pinterest and try to find hairstyles and makeup looks to recreate and just get creative. But first, I have this beautiful silk secondhand patchwork quilt on my bed and I just think this would be so cute as a backdrop so I'm gonna try to hang it up and see how it looks. I'm into it. This is another one of my favorite pastimes, is to redo my room and make little comfy corners to hang out in that are kind of aesthetic. So what has been motivating me to try and get more creative with my appearance is the fact that I only have this one life. I just feel so existential and like I could die tomorrow and I just really want to enjoy this human flesh vessel. I've spent so much of my life picking it apart and claiming it to be right or wrong. I just want to have fun with myself, with the way that I adorn myself and the way that I look moving through this world. Really treat this body like a little living art piece that I feel like it kind of is or can be. Let's try something new. Long hair hairstyles. I'm just going to do two braids in the front and then I'm going to pull a piece back and do a space bun. And another one of my favorite things to do is just freestyle to lo-fi music. I'm not good at singing or freestyling, but it's just really fun to sing about how you feel. I also do this when I'm sad. Feeling so high from the goodness in my mind. Always you have I did something. I don't know if I did that, but I did something. An attempt was made. I basically just tied my hair back into little buns and then I added this necklace to my head. <laughs> it just has three stars on it and I put these tendrils over it and it definitely feels like a galactic fairy look and I really like it. I want to wear more hair adornments. If I had beads I would have braided them in or just put a bunch of clips everywhere but I think that putting a necklace in your hair is a really cute way to level up your look a little bit. And now for my next trick I'm going to be attempting this look from Pinterest. I have this eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. and this is probably not going to end well for me, but I feel like you can't really go wrong if you're just smudging eyeshadow all over your face. Although this 
certainly takes real artistry that I do not have. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna start with this blue color. I've just been really on my extraterrestrial <laughs> shit. I'm already loving it, I, I, I gotta say. And yes, I'm just straight up using my fingers right now. What am I doing? I can't give up on myself. Not now. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I was thinking attempting this. This is what my fingers look like and this is the final look. What are we thinking? Every day wear or should I never do this again? Yeah, I'm going to put on a new makeup look. What you ordered online versus what you got in real life. On a more realistic note, one of the first things that I do when I'm bored is eat, and I'm going to do exactly that right now. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I grew up eating all frozen food from Costco, and I never ate vegetables. I mean, the healthy things I would eat in my household were chicken, rice, and beans, which is not bad, you know, for a growing child. But I never ate vegetables and I never ate salad. And I'm so happy that I genuinely enjoy the taste of lettuce and salad now. And it's actually really filling as long as you add a lot of ingredients. And my favorite sauce is bitchin' sauce right now. And then potato salad. This is vegan potato salad. Thank you for this food, spirit. Thank you for this food. This healing, this healing, this healing food. I'm pretty sure I eat potatoes like once a day, at least several times a week. I think potatoes are my favorite vegetable. And if eating potatoes is ever wrong, I don't want to be right. I really want to make some sweet little pots for my pothos plants, which have been propagating for about two months, and the roots are nice and long, and they're ready to be potted into soil. I have some inspo, I'll put it here, of what I want it to look like. It's really fun to be new and bad at things. I feel like as we get older, we stop putting ourselves in those positions where we could be bad at something. I don't know why that is. I feel like it just feels really vulnerable to be imperfect. And as you get older, it just seems a little bit less socially acceptable to do things and be bad at them or do things just for the fun of it. So I'm cutting out these strips and I want to make a layered pot and I think that I'm going to make all the rings separately and then hot glue gun them together once they're dry. I kind of like the DIY janky imperfect look of clay wear anyway so I think this will be really cute if it's not perfect actually. I'm really curious what is your thing that keeps you motivated to keep living this life every single day. There can be a lot of endless questioning. So what gets you through? What is your reason for rising every single day and choosing to be filled with love? Even after it's broken you down a few times. Just asking for a friend. <laughs> A practice that I really enjoy is openly naming my fears. So anything that's weighing heavy on my mind or any part of me that feels a little bit small or shameful or doesn't want to be brought to the light, I'll open up a container with my friend where we name all of our fears. We'll just list them one after the other. I'm afraid of getting sad again. I'm afraid of feeling unstable in my external reality. I'm afraid that my partner will get bored of me. We just list out and cast all of our fears into the void. And I feel like it really takes the power away from them to be like, wow, I feel that. And yet everything in this moment is still okay. That doesn't take away from the fact that all is actually well and that the only way that I will really make it through all those fears is by being present in this eternal now. It's like that quote that there's nothing to fear except fear itself. There's something magical about it and I highly recommend doing that with your friends, just having a little date where you cast away all of your fears into the great void. Let them be carried by the wind, alchemized by the earth, back into light and presence, and release any resistance that you have around facing that fear and owning it and claiming it and knowing that it's okay to be afraid sometimes, to be unsure, to question. This is coming out so cute already. I can see its final form. 
The next thing I'm excited to be new and bad at is typography. I'll put some images on the screen here and I'm taking this course on Skillshare called Great Graphic Design, Create Emotional, Gripping, Typographic Art by Sophia Yeshi. And today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators to explore new skills, deepen into existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. They have such a wide range of high quality classes ranging from video editing to entrepreneurial courses, sewing, singing classes, and they have really amazing curated lists on their site as well. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always uploading new premium courses so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity leads you. And the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free month of Skillshare premium so that you can deepen into your creativity. And I just love them so much. I've been using them for years and I love having this resource on hand. I'm gonna do a little dance workout now. I haven't done this in a while, but I used to love doing Zumba classes, so I'm really excited just to move my body in this way, and it makes childlike joy just rush through me. <laughs> I'm already so happy. Oh shit. I'm sweating so much. I'm ending the night with a face mask. This is a Mayan clay mask that I mix with apple cider vinegar. It makes it really intense and extremely detoxifying. Skincare is something that I could spend hours doing, so I'm gonna wash this off and then do some gua sha and moisturize, put my oils on, and just cuddle myself in bed while editing this video. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for joining me on a really random day in my life. I cherish you so deeply and I'm so proud of your rising every single day. And just thank you for being just as you are. I hope to see you in a video soon. Bye.